I packed my bags for 48 hours of vintage and thrift shopping in Dallas. Time to see if the secondhand shopping is really bigger and better in Texas. First off, we'll be heading to the Flea Style 10th Anniversary Fall Market to ring in 10 years of Flea Style in Dallas. Flea Style is a locally owned shop that specializes in vintage, handmade, and one-of-a-kind items and is always a must-off when I'm in town. There will be over 150 vendors at the market, so we'll be doing lots of vintage shopping and meeting so many new friends. <laughs> my free bandana. Look, they hand bleached these. How cool is that? Look at this incredible corduroy 70s jacket with the waist tie. It's $30. I need to try this on. I've actually, I saw Karen Britchick, I love her YouTube, find something like this and wear a whole corduroy outfit lately and I need this. It is so good. I'm also drooling over this vintage denim jacket and has the cow print and then the whole back is cow print it is incredible and it's only 30 bucks guys and her collection is gorgeous and she's just such a sweet lady and that's her mom over there and we were just talking and let's go through this stuff now on my list to find is more long maxi skirts and dresses and this one is kind of incredible. Oh wow, I might need this. Look at try this on. Tell me your favorite pieces because that I was looking at. It is uh, incredible. Cool. Anything with fringe. Yeah. Me too. And I love this piece. I love this <gasps> sweater. Isn't that fun? I love this. And I was also looking at all of these amazing yeah, boots, the boots down yeah. here. I have a belt on under this so it looks a little goofy but how incredible it has the pockets I can do the belt this is what I've been looking for for winter just a skirt that I can pair with boots and layer over a jacket these are so warm in the winter and I love that this is a corduroy imagine that with the corduroy jacket I got incredible I just spotted Miller and Liv's little caravan over here and I'm about to go surprise them Well, 
Yeah. Need some help. Your husbands are incredible. They are. Like I saw them steaming all the stuff yeah. before the show. I'm like, Same. what? That is so sweet. <gasps> this is so me. This is so me right here. And you have denim. Little fun accessories. Sifted clothing. I will tag them below and everything. So you guys have your own YouTube. Yes, we do. Yes. 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 This is going on YouTube. We're all on YouTube. No, I need to stop filming so I can go shop. Look at this sweater with all the little pom poms. I love that it's cropped, so you don't have to like tuck it in and get all that bulkiness. But I love this color so much. that she hand does herself because they're yes. incredible. Okay, Erica, so, go. We have these Charlie tees that everyone <gasps> loves. So what I do is I just crop it and then I sew an elastic waistband so then you can wear it like high up like this. One. I love that. Or you can tuck it into your jeans so you don't get the bulge. Yes, the bulge. I was yes. just talking to Sifted Clothing. I was no like, bulge. yes, Hashtag no bulge. bulge. Hashtag no bulge. Say no to the bulge. <laughs> so we have sweatshirts and we have some T-shirts. Yes. I love all of the Harley. Like, yeah. they're so uh, easy. You don't really have to think about your outfit. Just vintage denim, right. tee, I boots. Like crazy pants and then like a graphic. Tee. Oh yes. Wait. Also, look at her crazy skirt. Her whole outfit. Did yes. you thrift <gasps> the back of that jacket? I know. It's insane. What? Oh my gosh. So Texas. Thank you. Okay. I look crazy with this on over this, but how incredible! I have one of Erica's cropped cinched Harley Davidson tees. I love the front of it, these colors, and then it also has the design on the back, and it's from Fort Lauderdale, and I'm from Florida, so this is perfect. I think I'm gonna need to get this. Ring me up. Yes. Ring me up, girl. <laughs> I am too hyped up in here. I've gone to three booths in a matter of two hours because I keep finding friends to talk to, which is amazing. I mean, that was, one of the big reasons to come here is just to meet some people um, that I love to follow um, and that's really like made it but I haven't hit up all the shops and I'm kind of getting a little anxious you know when you haven't haven't seen everything you gotta see everything so I'm gonna hit up some more of these shops and I'm gonna have to make it quick because I have 45 minutes left until it shuts down I'm dead I'm dead look at this giant puff sleeves i love the layer here it fits perfectly right on the shoulder has a little bit of a um actually i don't think there's a shoulder pad in there it's just it's just working what its mama gave him um i'm yeah i'm getting this i'm getting this i'm obsessed with these patchwork palazzo pants hi, hi. this is katie and what is the name of your shop and where can people buy stuff from you uh, nice it's vintage i am at dogs records in Fort Worth, and you can find me on instagram on instagram right here guys 
Also, your yeah. outfit is incredible. Those pants. Did you make this too? Uh, yeah, this and then these. And I'm, oh. I'm trying to bring up a few more pieces tomorrow. I'm I'm obsessed with the yeah. patchwork quilt and then so I'm making her take this off so I can try on the pants because they're that good. She makes all of this. I can't. You're so talented. You're so talented. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. Yeah. Look at these pants. They're a little crazy, I know. They're a little crazy, <laughs> but like a good kind of crazy. How incredible. She handmade these and they have the elastic waist. I think I might need them. I think I might need them. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking good. Woo! I need to nap 10 years after tonight because it was just exhilarating meeting everybody. It was so exciting. I got all the goods. So excited about everything and I'm gonna go home now. Hi friends, happy Saturday. I am still on cloud nine from last night. It was such a fabulous event. The market was amazing. The vintage shopping was amazing, but really it was just so, so great to meet um, Miller and Olivia from Sifted Clothing and Erica from Eric and Nicole Vintage um, and just so many more people. That was the best part. But today we are having the ultimate day of thrifting. We're gonna be hitting up thrift stores um, in Plano area and then Richardson. I'm actually in Richardson, Texas right now, about to go into my favorite vegan bakery. It's called Reverie Bakery. So I'm gonna go in, get some breakfast, and then we are gonna go thrifting all day, guys. store we're at thrift city i found a few bags i'm kind of just going to throw everything into my cart and then kind of weed out everything at the end um but i'll show you a few things this leather patchwork bag love it this is a river island bag and i just it's a little bit like early 2000s but that trend is totally coming back with like the satchel bags how cute and i really love this little detail here and then y'all know i love the cow print right now so i found this one and it has like some fringe here it's four bucks i just thought it was so cool so that's what i found so far i think next i'm gonna hit up the dresses and I'm really looking for like wintery kind of stuff so maxi dresses maxi skirts winter florals sweaters boots things like that <laughs> that separates out like ladies vintage and so I don't know how accurate this is but first of all look at this gorgeous vintage um, vest it has all these sequins and like rickrack all over it it's gorgeous and I love that it already has these like loops here so I think there's probably um, was a you know ribbon or something that kind of tied it together so you could totally like wear this as a top in the summer or pair over you know turtleneck and jeans in the winter so i think i'm gonna grab this it's only 5.99 i just think this is such a cool unique piece and i love that it's this like very sturdy velvet and it's in really great condition you can definitely tell it was handmade by somebody but i'm about to go through these what they're claiming is the vintage section we'll see we'll see if it's actually good $5.99 it's definitely like a 70s knit but I really love this um, pattern here it has like these yellow roses I'm gonna try this one I honestly didn't find too much in the dresses but I did find a few things I'll show you real quick this is a maxi cotton like tie-dye dress and I just thought this would be really cool to like layer something over maybe belt pair with some good like western boots Still loving the tie dye trim. This is like an amazing, like 80s. I don't think it's silk, but it has the great puff sleeves. That's all I found so far. And then that little vest 
And yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. I got all my goods. I didn't check every single section. I'm just trying to check the sections that I am really looking for stuff because I'm gonna be hitting so many stores today. But I will say, I seriously hit the jackpot on quilted patchwork items. Look at this shirt. And then this one and all the pastels. So good. Um, I'm gonna try everything on for you guys and show you. And then we're gonna head to our next stop. Here is that first quilted top with all the pastels. I love this little portion right here where this is all like patchwork together. Um, it kind of goes onto the back as well, but how adorable is this? It's $3. So we'll see. Um, I kind of like it, but I'm not typically a pastel person. So even though it's $3, we'll see. But I do think it's crazy cool um, and just like a really unique top. Here is the Americana 70s Patrick. I love the sleeves. It's definitely like really thick, which I like. Um, I think it fits really well. And between these two, I would probably choose this one. This is more like my color scheme. And I love like the Americana kind of vibe of it. Have it tucked into these pants and it looks so cool. I think this is like, like amazing for Nashville. And it's also kind of longer. So you could totally wear it untucked, just like with some jeans. Here is that vintage dress, and this is just a no. All right, I'm loving this blazer. It's by one of my favorite designers that I always find at the thrift store and buy their stuff. It's Jones, New York. This is a navy pinstripe double-breasted blazer fits perfectly this would be such a fabulous outfit to belt in fact i'm going to take off my belt and show you guys i'm loving this i definitely think i'm gonna pick this one up it's such a good basic and i don't have one peace de resistance best thing i've tried on all day i think for the winter i'll probably just pair like a black or white turtleneck under it and it just adds so much character to an outfit. It, it's such a cool piece and it's only six dollars. In theory this is cool, in reality I feel like mom hippie that like makes tinctures in her basement. This is bad. Just nope. I'll show you guys everything that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna head out. I'm in the line to check out and it's mega long so let me give you guys a haul while we're waiting and tell you what I'm paying for everything. First, the amazing embellished velvet vintage vest. Incredible, it is six bucks. The Americana quilted shirt, probably from the 70s, three dollars. Last thing is that Jones New York double-breasted pinstripe blazer. It is six bucks and that is everything. I'm gonna go pay for all my stuff and then we're gonna head to the next location. Put everything in my giant bag that I brought with me. This is a vintage bag I actually thrifted and it's my thrifting bag that I put all my goodies in so I don't use their bags. But I do wanna show you one thing I spotted on the way out. Um, I found where the belts were hidden and I saw this buckle peering out. I was like, I need this. And it says on the back it was made in Morocco. It's not real um, turquoise, like you can tell. It's kind of, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of compilation of something, but it's a leather belt. But I've been looking for a good Western belt like this, so I was really excited. I don't remember, I don't know how much it was. It was $2. So I spent $18.36 on those four things, and I thought this place looked really good. Thrift City in Richardson, Texas. I am now about to head to the Goodwill in Richardson. I'm gonna head there and look for more goodies. Wait, it's 50% off today. It's kind of madness in here. It's not super organized and there's kind of like all of those like circular racks just like randomly throughout the store that I don't like they don't have any labels on them or anything but I did like just randomly find a few things this silk top um it kind of has like these tie-dye you know blotches on it I just thought that was really cool Neiman Marcus 
robe that I think could be fabulous like over something or even like belted as a dress. Look at this. It has French all down the front and then it has that on the back too. How cool is this jacket? to sift through this store. It's not color coordinated. It's not really size coordinated. Um, it's not, it's just a disaster. <laughs> but I did find a few good tops. This I'm really excited about. It is this vintage Wrangler denim button down. You can see where the person had their patches here. So I actually have this really cool patch that someone made with my name on it. And I think this would be such a good shirt to sew it on there. This sweater, it reminds me of Ami Song, Song of Style. She has like this sweater like this that she wore recently with some just khaki pants. And I just really liked it. So it's a little bit out of what I would normally pick, but I'm trying to get some more basics because I feel like winter, fall, it's really good to have like a statement outerwear and then kind of a more basic top. Picked up this kind of western vintage button down. The last thing I got was this little vintage sweater cardigan. It has little sheep on it. it has like a little house, it has hearts. I just thought this was too adorable. I guess I'm really loving like the Americana kind of vibe right now. Wish me luck as I go navigate the rest of the store store. Okay, we're in the murder dressing room. It's fine. <laughs> Here's the Neiman Marcus robe. I like it, but I'm also like, I'm trying not to buy stuff that's summery, and I know that I wouldn't wear this in the winter, and I also have free robes already, so I don't think I'll get it, but it is gorgeous, and I think this would be great over just denim, as a dress, as a robe, so many things you can do with robes, I love looking in the robe section. Little sweater tank, I really like it because I've been looking for, again, more neutrals that I can pair under kind of statement outerwear. So I think this would be great just under blazers, all that. How cute is this little cardigan? That's very kind of Americana, but it is adorable. This is a yes. I love pink and I love the slouchiness of this. I love that it's a bit fuzzy. It's got the v-neck. It's got some kind of cable knit intertwined. I love how it lays like it would even just be great with this outfit. Here's that massive fringe coat. It's way too big, even though it says it's a small, but I know it's 80s and it's just like that really oversized fit. It's a no. This was great in theory and then just didn't execute well. It's just way too oversized, but it, if this was smaller, I would love this. And this is kind of the vibe I was going for, but yeah, just too big. This one I'm really excited about. This is the vintage Wrangler denim shirt with all the old patches that had definitely been on there. How incredible is this paisley kind of western top? I really love this embroidered detail on the front and it goes on the sleeves and all the way onto the back. I think this is such a great find and I think it's only like three bucks or so, so I think I'm gonna get this. I leave off the leave, finally. I'll do a quick haul of everything I'm getting. Since it is 50% off, there are a few things that I decided to get because they were only like three bucks. That's always the good part about thrifting is it's so inexpensive. You could try something out. If you don't end up wearing it, you can always resell it. First up, the little cardigan. Then I got the sweater tank, the puffy pink sweater, of course the vintage Wrangler, and the vintage Western tee. And I don't think any of these items are more than $4. I'll probably walk out of here spending less than $15, which is pretty good. I had my thrift fuel, some really good Thai food. I'm about to head into this Salvation Army over here. I think this will be my second to last stop, I might go hit up um, the Goodwill in Plano, and that might be all I have time for, but let's just make it quick and go in. The first thing I spot, this is beautiful. This is a burl, like a veneer burl, and then a chrome bottom. This place looks pretty big. They have a lot of racks over here, so I'm just gonna get going.
dresses, but I did just find a really cool London Fog trench coat and I have had a trench coat on my list for quite some time. Kind of a cognac sort of khaki. Um, and it's in really good condition. It has one little spot right there, but I think I'd be able to get that out. This is actually only $12.99, which I feel like is a really good price for um, a London Fog Trench. I also found this Liz Claiborne super thin silk houndstooth blazer that I'm loving. I'm not gonna say this place is a bit of a bus because that's just how it works for things. Sometimes you find a lot, sometimes you don't. Found about four things. I'm going to try them on real quick. First is that trench coat. I really like it, but I'm kind of nervous it's a bit too big. I kind of like the oversized fit too, so I don't know. I'm still on the fence, but it is a gorgeous color, and I love the trench coat itself. Here's the Liz Claiborne silk blazer, this kind of enlarged houndstooth. I really like this, and I like that it's a silk, so it's pretty lightweight. Here is this full length tiered kind of accordion pleated skirt. And this is kind of what I was looking for, like winter kind of thick skirts that can pair with boots. So I might snag this because it's pretty cool. I like all of the volume that it has. Um, I just think it looks really high fashion. I'm about to head out. I'm just gonna get two things. I decided to get the trench. I just love the color and some really nice people in here that convinced me that it wasn't too big it's gonna go over things i like them to be a little bit oversized too so i don't think it was too big where the seams are all hitting were just right so i'm really excited about this second thing i'm gonna get that skirt this is 6.99 and this one is 12.99 we have reached our final destination so fingers crossed we saved the best for last let's go in and do our final thrifting of the day Finally, I had a little shoe look. They are this embossed like alligator and they have an angled heel. They're nine west, they're very ankle, um, booty, kind of a squarish toe. So I'm excited about those. And I'm super perplexed as to why they organize their store with all these tiny little racks. Okay, sweaters here, and then sweaters there, and sweaters there. Not well organized, but I'm still gonna sift through. Peace, Goodwill. It was kind of a bust. I think just because it was 50% off day, it just been really picked over. I didn't end up getting the shoes. They just weren't super comfortable. I picked up so many things on this trip already that did I really need them? No. This is my loot. So I still got a lot of really great stuff and I had such a fun day. In Dallas, you did not disappoint. I will put down below the places that I went today. It was a dream come true. I've looked forward to just having a solo day, thrifting in a new city. So that is it for my weekend thrifting vintage. Went to the flea style market, did an entire day of thrifting in Dallas. And if you haven't already, comment, like, subscribe, please. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I style up all my thrifted finds over there. You can also catch me on my blog where I write about fashion. There's lots of thrifty content for you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I will check you guys next time. Bye!